It's always Eddie Van Halen time. <laughs> All right, so today we are checking out this EVH lake from his jump solo. It is just chock full of good stuff for a beginner to learn. Also, huge shout out to Sweetwater for letting me borrow this guitar. Thank you guys so much. This thing is killer. There's links to it down below if you want to check it out. And let's get into the lesson. All right, so it starts all the way up here with just a single note. 18th fret on the high E string. And this is already, there's a lot going on here that you might not initially think about as a beginner. One of the coolest things that I got from Eddie is how he's always raking the strings. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, think about if you played that note like this. It doesn't sound anywhere near as cool as that. What's happening is you actually mute the strings with your right hand. Now, not a palm mute. Here, yeah, that's real deep and bassy. No, you slide your hand up to where you get this almost dead sound on the strings, and then you fret the note, and you rake across the strings, and it gives it a very percussive sound. Eddie did this all the time. Oh, when he's doing that kind of stuff, it's always raking the strings. So, right there, he starts off with that. It's a very like BB King, boom, high note. So you're gonna slide all the way down here, still in the same overall box position. It's this B flat, A sharp, you know, our favorite key to play in. So you're on sixth fret on the high E string, and then you go to ninth fret on the B, and you bend that up a full step. Add some of that sweet, tasty Eddie, uh, Eddie Bravo. Eddie Bravo. <laughs> Eddie Vibrato, also known as Eddie Bravo. <laughs> um, Eddie Vibrato on there. And then here comes the, the coolness of this pentatonic lick. Okay, you're gonna bar your, your finger across both strings. Sixth fret on the high E string to sixth fret on the B. Okay, pick both of those. Go all the way up here to ninth fret, pick that pull back off to 6th fret. So you have, then, okay? So this rolling motion with your index finger is so crucial. I see a lot of people not do it, and Eddie was just a king of it. So it was Angus Young, so. Okay, now you're gonna go to ninth fret on the G, that flat five, all the way back to 6th fret on the high E string. I love that big jump there. It just kind of teaches you, you don't have to always play the next string in line. He's doing this big string skip. It, sounds, it just sounds sweet. Okay, that right there on its own is a cool lick. Then he just spices it up a little bit more. Straight down the blues scale, you're gonna go ninth fret to eighth fret on the G and then to sixth fret. Now I think he's picking the first two and he pulls off that last one. But you could pull them all off if you wanted to. So. Now you go back to 8th fret on the G. And we're going to roll our finger again here, but up a set of strings. You're going to go 6th fret on the B and 6th fret on the G. And aggressive vibrato. Maybe not that aggressive, but he adds a lot of vibrato on there when he does that lick. Just like that. And, and like I said, you can just hear, it's littered with all these little phrasing things. Really take those as the, the secrets to what Eddie's doing with a lot of these kind of standard blues licks. So just have fun with it and throw that lick in everywhere. Change keys with it. And end the blues. So that's gonna be it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Eddie is just the master of all things that are cool and rock and roll. And again, huge shout out to Sweetwater. Thanks to them so much for letting me borrow this guitar for a little bit. Totally gonna be a little bit bummed to see this one go. I love the one pickup. So if you want to, there's an affiliate link down below. You can check the guitar out. I'd really appreciate it. And yo, I'll see you all next time. Let me know who you'd like to see in the next one and uh, subscribe. Bye guys. End it bluesy, EVH style.